Hey guys, Mikasan here with continual reactions to Red vs. Blue. My third bit, didn't I? Either way, this is not this is uh, God damn it. It's amazing what happened. This is season 15, episode 13, Blues vs. Red, part 2. A pair of freelancers. Oh. So now one. The blues and reds get two freelancers down there. That explains this one to shit. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna go to shit, of course. The mother of invention. At ease, Carol. Ah, oh, damn it, seriously. You've performed well recently. I can do better. Just give me another oh. chance. I promise you won't need to call in. We don't always get what we want out of life. However, in this instance, I am prepared to oblige your request. Thank you, sir. Ready for mission briefing. You will lead a team of inexperienced soldiers oh. in a game of... A game? Are you kidding? Oh, this boy. It's about the game. It's about those you will be working with. In war, one is not always so fortunate as to choose their allies. It will also act okay. as a field test for several pieces of prototype technology. Voice modulator? Oh. I doubt I'll ever be fighting war alongside red and blue idiots, sir. That is your idiots. final interruption. You will command your team against so another is, agent soldiers. This is the, the train that will eventually lead to tech having all my her equipment. Plate. Capture the flag. Who's the other agent? I'm counting on you, Carolina. That's so. Oh, hell yeah. There's good action on this fight. <laughs> Even good guy Wash put a bet down. What's my over under? Four to Wait. one? Not too shabby. Ah, now that's four to one against. No offense. That woman is a killing machine. You remember what she did to York, Wyoming, and Maine? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, though. I got your back. Thanks for the vote of comment. Wow. What can I say? Always a sucker for blue team. You uh. what? We dug a hole in the ground and then we put the flag in it. And then we covered the hole. That last part was my idea. What possessed you to do something Why? so stupid? What's well, the big deal? Yeah. We've done good. We need both flags to win the game, you moron. Where is it? Yeah. Where? Although, did you why is it? Oh, yeah. I could have no sworn idea. they what? added That's in. Uh, we made a map. Where's I could have sworn they added the oh, recon no helmet in Halo map. 5. More like we just forgot where we're going. Okay, that's my bad. No, the recon helmet. That's the recon helmet. It's the Raider helmet, I believe. Hey, speaking of forgetting, I don't remember ever calling command for a freelancer. Stow it. We're going loud and five. I gotta check. I gotta check the Halo Five, but I know they added well in the done, Raider helmet. Your medium top yelling, and it's not a mistake, you moron. It's a maneuver. You two, my name is. Don't fucking care. Tweedledee and Tweedledum lay down suppressing fire. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I got the baggage back at base. Jeez, careful! You're gonna hit someone. That's the Shut point. Up. You over there? Are you with us or them? Sorry, ma'am. I'm neither red nor blue. I'm simply observing and administering first aid to the need. Incoming! What is it? Oh, well. Oh, Donut? A boom on you. Ow! Whoa! Lopez? Me, I'm me sorry. Me, <laughs> they made me. They made me. Oh my god! We're blasting up again! Let's try one syllable orders this time. Charge! Smart move. Oh, forget him. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, my. You might. Oh, oh, no, fuck this. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh, Cronut? No way! That spark shit was too crap! Awesome! What the hell? Pets? Well, if it isn't the great state herself, I was wondering where you were hiding. 
hand over the flag, and I promise I'll try not to do any Tense. permanent damage. Oh god. Shut up and fight. Nice voice box, Optimus. You can Optimus. Get Jack box. Oh hey, watch it, I like a ha. the ha. Holy Mother of Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Look at them. Yo, Red! Are we still fighting or Nah, we're just Shit. observing. Alright, man, new plan. Let those two pummel each other to death. Yep. The good, only thing good. that would make this better is some music. Oh, I got it. I <laughs> just upgraded the basic sound system. Okay, Shelly, play action. Shelly? <laughs> okay, there we go. I was wondering. <laughs> so they got this fresh of uh, freaking reds got their rid of the Sheila. Okay, Shelly, play something faster. That's better! <laughs> this, uh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Maybe you do a crane stance? Yeah, yeah, it's personally not my taste. I think it's neat! Let's try something old school. Okay, Shelly, uh, play some Springsteen. No, no! Oh, oh god, no. Go back! Go back to the other music, go back to the other music. No! This one worked, but what was that song? That was a cool ass song. This song. Oh god. Will you assholes knock it off? Okay, Shelly. Shuffle. Chapter 14. Harry and his friends <laughs> walked through the crowded Not office of their head But Professor, Harry said, that leaves four more Horcruxes left to Harry Potter. Potter. Of course you're right, Harry, Dumbledore <laughs> said with a gentle uh, stroke of his bushy white beard. But he who God, shall God, not God, names so will weird. not know we're coming. The scar on Harry's head began to throb, as if a hot iron was being pressed against his forehead. Shelly, it's shut him, up, he said. It's happening again. Really? End of the line. The stubbaton, okay? All right, this is it. You ready? Uh, I don't know if this is such a good idea, man. Don't, don't, Walmart, don't. This is great. We'll get those freelancer chicks to notice. They'll put it in their report. It's the only way. Dude, are you sure? It's oh, gonna happen, but. Terrible bud. shot. Come on, dude. Hurry. Don't. You got glare. No, I can't do it. Look, you're just gonna have to serve out your tour like the rest of us. <sighs> Mark, you know how I said I saw Georgina when I was on shore leave? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's expecting, man. Expecting what? Biff Jr. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, dude. That's why I need to get out. I'm gonna be a uh, father and maybe a husband if things go that way. Uh, oh! Jesus. Stop it! Uh. Get off my flag, bitch! Whoa! It bounced off her helmet. So bad, you can have it. No! Oh my God! Medic! Somebody help me! This isn't about you. Oh my god! Hold on, buddy. I'll send help. Going. Oh. Oh god, Biff! Red team wins. I am concerned, however. Her <laughs> aggression. Make a note of it. It's already done. Good. Send in the retrieval team and then pull the files on those simulation troops. Oh boy, sir. Before today, they were the only team still locked in total stalemate. I want their team compositions noted should we need to recreate a similar scenario. What? Understood, sir. And that's how we got the, the Blood time Gulf has crew. come to kill the masters. The freelancers to start. But that's not where this story ends. Pretty good story, Temple. Now tell me, how would you feel about some constructive feedback? 
Jack, shut up. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. This whole pregnant girlfriend about to retire thing is yeah. about as cliche as it gets. I mean, what if really? he said he's your twin brother? <laughs> Years later, the Thank order you. stopped coming, and we left our gulch looking for answers. We found them in an abandoned freelancer outpost. We discovered records showing that the very military we had invaded sold us like slaves to Project Freelancer. We were pawns in their game. But the thing that I love about chess is that sometimes pawns kill kings. That is true. Oh, oh. Okay, so. Well. Okay, uh, I gotta admit, this, this completely made me think the Temple in a New Light and, and the entire Blues and Reds, I can't blame them for what they're doing now. It's like, they, they're they they practically in, extremely justified. Okay, if they were, first of all, if there was any lingering doubt about them being actual Sim Troopers or any of that stuff, and all the theories, the theories, theories that's, all, that's completely out of the table, they were pretty much true to their work, except for the part of the UNSC killing freelancers and all all people who were part of freelancer. But they're right; they suffered probably more than anyone. <coughs> I mean, God, damn. So yeah, and once they found out that everything that they essentially were fighting and that Biff essentially died for nothing, and now he. Yeah, yeah, they have the right to be extremely fucking pissed. They're hunting down everyone but a freelancer. But, well, I guess they do not know that director is dead. And even the freaking counselor, it's like that they're deep dead as well. I mean, they don't know that, do they? I don't think they'll react well to that news. I mean, they wanted to personally kill the ones responsible. It was cool, though, seeing Tax again and seeing her voice modulated. Like, that was, that was a place where they tested. And we saw that from there, after they, from there, after they recovered everyone, and they just, they, they said recovered too, they recovered people, but then they just left those guys there for God knows how long. And then they started looking for answers. And they found this in the very same place where, like, uh, Sarge finally realized the truth of the matter. That she's technically not a soldier. Every, his military career is hogwash. Which, technically, he was told that by Washington when they were hunting down the, me the meta. But now, he's in that, in that scene right there, he had undeniable proof. So what perfect play for them to find out on double proof as well they were essentially sold to be slaves in a freaking game. Oh my god, again. <laughs> that scene was like... I gotta find out what the second music was, because that was awesome. I was like, wait, wh where's the music here? Like, they're fighting everything, and this reminds me of a few episodes of Power Rangers Wild Force where... The Red and Lunar Wolf Ranger was fighting the big bad guy with no music playing, just hearing their fists going. It's like, you know what, that's nice and all sometimes, but give me some music. And then they gave the music, and then it went like, what the hell was the third music? And then we got like Harry Potter. Also, Shelly. Hmm. I'm credit though. What? Shelly was owned by the Reds? Because. I'm sure there's a whole story over there behind that, but that was still fun to see. And my god, the, 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 the fight scene was pretty nice. <sighs> I'm sure people, people you know, people are going to say, it's not Monty Hume or anything like that. Yeah, it, it'll never be Monty Hume. I get that. It, so I'm going to put that aside and judge the fight for what it was. And I will say this, for the most part, I thought it was good, but... There were just some scenes where the close-up was... Mm, yeah, 
editing could use some work and less close up. Like, stay more in a nice shot where we. A nice, like, this, a nice sort of distance shot where we can get both in the frame. N not, super, not close. Not, not super close. Th that's all I gotta say. Say. Also, it wasn't fast paced. I, I don't know why it wasn't as fast paced, because. God damn, like they were punching, punching like they would in real in real time, like real, but I'm more like those duh, 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 fast jabs we, we see. <laughs> that was horrible. But yeah, like those fast jabs. Show how they're badass they are and like inhumanly strong they are with that freaking armor on. <sighs> also, biggest thing of course. I said this, I said this before, but why doesn't she have Carolina have the Raider helmet. Why does she still have the Oni Recon helmet? Yeah, I believe they did introduce that helmet back into Halo 5. In one of the packs. Yeah, one of the, one of the helmets you can win in multiplayer. So... Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I assume... They'll probably like do a remaster of it and correct that, but... Okay. Whatever, I mean, it's probably a limitation of the time. Probably they didn't have that helmet unlocked, so... Alright. Other than that, it's like, oh god, poor, poor Biff. You know, I actually thought he was that... That sh when, uh, Carolina shot... Shot Tex, and it bounced off her helmet. I thought the bullet would have, like, hit... Hit Griffin, like, the visor and went through the head. But no, it was a freaking makeshift blue flag. Ow. And like Carolina, wow, Carolina, you're fucking heartless. No, oh, fuck, you were fucking heartless back then. It's like, this isn't about you. Like, freaking, and just, Ted just pulls it out. Blood, oh god, and the red, and then the blues and reds just stay there watching. It's like, oh god. At this point, <laughs> I want to see um, just their journey. Like after that, I mean, what kind of life do they have, and when, how did they leave the canyon, and how did they find the base, and how did they set all this up? Because goddamn. So yeah, it just sort of shows that how Carolina or Carolina doesn't really care uh, back then. Like she does not remember these guys at all. Wow. Wow, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure like when they when they arrived on that island and saw Carolina there, it's like the blues and red were probably seething, were like so mad, and Temple had to keep a straight face, like Wash Carolina, it's a pleasure to meet you. And I'm sure you're thinking, I want to shoot you in the fucking head, you bitch. I'm sure you're thinking that, and rightly so. Ho <laughs> So people, thank you for watching. Boy, oh boy, I I can't blame Temple. I can't blame the Blues and Reds at all at this point. Thank you for watching. Comment down below what you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, this is Mekasan, logging out.